pick the super sub. And good morning, Ranjit. Good morning, Shiva. Good morning, all. Yes, Sri Lanka coming with all the experience, as you would see. The batting uh, at full strength. Mahavanath Patu, Sanadja, Surya, Mahalaja, Vodana, Kumar Sangakkara, Tilakarapta, Dilshan, Chamindavas, uh, also to add support. And uh, here's Chamindavas with the first delivery. Well, these two teams last played in India head to head eight years ago. And it's been a long time, but two very good sides. You can expect some great cricket over the next uh, three weeks. Some experienced players on both sides. And also lots and lots of youngsters coming in. Oh, he's gone at it very hard. Thick outside edge. First boundary for the Indians. Not very convincing, but they'll take it. Streaky, but the Indians certainly would take it. Runs would matter earlier on. Sega, he's the man who really wants to get things moving. Really was rather tentative with the shot. And uh, took a thick outside edge. And flew uh, in the air, but uh, safe to the left of uh, deep third man. Time on two spats. Can they get a boundaries? Sebag has started well. He certainly has. He's the man who really uh, sets the pace. Ensures the momentum straight away. And that ball just flew past uh, Chamindavas at uh, deep fine leg. He really didn't uh, have to move too much. But uh, that ball really flew past him to the boundary. What a way to get off the mark. Vintage Tendulkar. Oh, this certainly man has uh, taken off from uh, where he left earlier on. A great shot. Caressed through the offside. The expectations really answered. Ball looking to him to get that first run. And he responded with a brilliant boundary. Everything right about it. Beautifully balanced. Just a little bit of width is all Tendulkar needed. Tendulkar and Seva are on fire. Two overs gone. It's 20 for no loss. Man at fine leg is a leg gully. This time fine. Runs are coming in boundaries for the Indians. Third one for Virendra Seva. Seva quickly sized up the situation. He saw the man from deep fine leg brought into that leg gully situation. And as soon as the ball was just drifting down leg stump, guided it towards that region where it was quite empty with uh, the square leg, very, very square, and unable to stop it on this very, very fast outfield. That's a good shot. Did it strike him outside the line of ball? Was this the extra bounce? Very close one indeed. This one also got the feeling that there wasn't too much movement of the feet and uh, suspects that uh, may have been an inside edge. It was running down leg side. Oopsie! Tenduka giving the charge. This is a bit of inside edge. No runs given. Should go down as a drop chance. Some sort of rashness coming into Tendulkar. Yes, there was a thick edge and uh, probably went wide off Sangakkara. Just falling short of him, made a valiant attempt of that. Again, the direct hit. Chaya Surya, the man. The Indians are taking their chances. Leg bar as it is. Yes, that was a very, very tricky one. Tendulkar was struggling at the end. And I'm sure that if it did strike, um, Tendulkar may have been gone. So Jai sort of was very quick on to it. And uh, Tendulkar was short if it did strike. 
Rahul Dravid, the skipper. Recently had a baby boy. So things changing around for him. Nominated captain for the 12 matches. Seven against Sri Lanka, five against South Africa. Over the top. And clears the fence. Tendulkar brings up the first six of the match. Yes, there you are. He's making a big statement here. He's come with a mission and uh, certainly looking to entertain this crowd. So the Sri Lankans really will have to be very careful of this situation. We really can't get this man to settle in. I think he wants to take the initiative. It's a clear sign. He doesn't want to be bogged down. Again, he goes and delivers extremely hard for Indra Seva. That's his strength. High back lift. Going hard at it. Another boundary, fourth for him. Fine batsmanship here by Seva. That really wasn't a bad delivery. It just was on target, as we've been saying. Chamin Dawaz is always on target, but uh, Seva just managed to uh, get himself that room and slash it through the offside. In fact, the scrambles came once again. Chamin Dawaz looking to try and get that ball to leave the right-hander. Edged and gone! Chamin Dawaz picks up to his first wicket. And a big one of Virendra Seba. Chamin Dawaz has been striving for this all the while, getting the ball to move away from the right-hander. Virendra Seba with his foot right down the pitch, not close enough to the ball, paying the penalty. A thick edge. As one would see it, and um, a simple catch to uh, Kumar Sangakkara, who moved across. So Sri Lanka have uh, struck through Tamil Dawas. He's the man with the experience, and it certainly is a big wicket for them to uh, dispense off uh, this man who was looking very, very dangerous. So Seva goes, India 41 for one. Shot. Down the ground for four. Top shot from uh, Sachin Tandulka. It was over pitched. They had to be driven. And he made no mistake in putting that ball between the stumps and mid on. And as uh, Ravi said a moment ago, it's a lush outfield, but it's a fast outfield. Firmly anchored on the front foot as he made contact. High elbow directing the ball to the boundary. A great atmosphere at this ground when it's uh, full like it's today that's a big hit no ball signal and it might have just cleared the rope for six and a 50 comes up for Indian style he picked it up very well indeed no ball, perhaps he'd have just heard the call as he unwound himself. But the important thing was that uh, he got it on the middle of the bat, a good big stride forward. Uh, that's what helped him to hit the ball on the rise. That's cheeky. Very cheeky from Tendulka. The clouds love it. Great improvisation from Sachin Tendulkar. Picked the line very early, moved right across the stumps. But he could do that because the ball was close enough to him and very nicely paddled away wide of the fine leg fielder. Very optimistic. Now what's very interesting to see here, when the appeal was made, where the umpire was now normally you would want an umpire right behind the stumps when a bowler appeals have a look at this big shout from was he thought it was pretty close just pitching around leg stump certainly worth a shout didn't bounce very much yes he's done well there he's He's been very still. He saw that the ball hit the pad and he was still right behind the stumps and then made the move. 
This is very good cricket from Sachin Tendulkar. And it's not all that bad a delivery, but he's just waited on it, and the placement just superb. And the fielders in that cover region are pretty close to each other. There's a backward point, there's a cover and an extra cover. And uh, Tendulkar still found the gap right between cover and extra cover. Nothing that Russell Arnold could do. Only the run continues and Tendulkar probably plays his favourite shot. And picks up his seventh boundary. This is experience for you. He's also brimming with confidence, he's got a great start. Now that's very, very cheeky indeed. Took it from outside the off stump, he knew the ball is turning, played it with the turn, and played it fine enough to evade that fielder at short fine leg. And look how far across he took his front foot to be able to play it fine. That was lovely for runs. That's his 50. Tendulka has shown great inclination and determination in this innings has reached yet another landmark 70th ODI 50 and what a time to get it on his comeback 7 boundaries and a 6 a strike rate of 100 India needed an innings like this to begin this series and so did this man on the screen 50 or 50 deliveries no. giving the charge then hit it cleanly, Tendulkar. Brings up the 100 for India. And in good time as well, the run rate of 6.19. Rahul Dravid would take it any day. Any match of the series. 100 for 1. Could be tight. Hits it directly. Question asked. Billy Baron, the umpire. He's asked for the third umpire. But that is good cricket, but judging from the body language of all the cricketers there in the middle, Sachin has probably made it. But it's good cricket. Now, these direct hits have a habit of being closer than you imagine. My goodness, that is close. It's, it's just a frame. He could well be in. He's not in here, but he's in there. They need a tighter frame. One frame back, it's just a matter of one frame, Shiva. I mean, how tight is that? Can't give that out as far as I'm concerned. When does the bail come off just now and as bad as in? Difficult one for the third umpire. Shivram, the third umpire. From this angle, the bail seems to have moved when the bat is on the line, but does the bail come right off is the question. And when it does, He's in, but this is a real tight one. I think it's got to be dislodged completely, not partially. Difficult one. What's he going to do? It's called in. That is close. Too close for comfort, but there you can see the roar that's gone around the ground. Sachin Tendulkar is not out now. He's got the benefit of the doubt, Shiva. He certainly has. This time, he's tried to clear the man at mid-off and just did. Shamin Dabas can't get there. He's also fortunate to pick up a boundary, Tendulkar. I think Tendulkar judged it right. It was the Dusra. He wanted to go on the straight field. But the ball turned across and he just got the splice. This was the Dusra. Didn't quite get it in the meat of the bat, but yet managed to just fall behind Vas, who was quite thought, uh, felt that he was under control till the ball just kept going away from him. So the Sri Lankans looking to pull this back at this stage. Big hit. Six for it. Mm. It had the height. It had the distance as well. And the hundred run partnership between these two. Patan, real youthful exuberance, took on the challenge. There was a man down at deep long on, but he was prepared to take him on and um, cleared the boundary just over the man. Again, Dilshan, not a great spinner of the ball, 
like Muralidharan, so he could get up to the pitch of it and uh, very good use of the feet. That's 50. So it's a very fine innings by uh, Irfan Patan. He's been sent out to do a job and he's done it so very effectively. And this really is uh, something which uh, India should be very happy about. Down the track and a good hit. Something's going to happen. <laughs> One bounce over the rope. And pressure on the bowler straight away. It's very well hit indeed. In fact, uh, it was hit straight down the ground. He really didn't attempt to hit it across the line. It was pitched up, used his feet well, as you would see. Very good use of the feet and hit it uh, straight down the ground. This time even bigger. I've got a chance here. Just missing it. Up on my toes in the commentary box. But that's a massive hit by Patan. A boundary and now a six. Beautiful time. A lot of expression about the shot at the T. Again, great use of the feet. It was coming in our direction into the commentary box, but just veered away, but superbly struck six. Only two balls, Ranjit, and something's happened. Ten. That's another big, the biggest of the lot. Plenty of exercise for Billy. And uh, this ground in Nagpur has erupted. It's the crowd certainly on its feet, as you would see, as uh, the Sri Lankans are under siege here from uh, young Irfan Patan. Plenty of fear, plenty of expression, and he's certainly giving this crowd a huge break. out and did he get some bat on it he wasn't all that far forward Tendulkar there was quite a bit of turn here for Dilshan and uh, one got the feeling that uh, there may have been too much turn hey well that's uh... six Absolutely no respite for the bowlers. Tendulka once again taking on Dilshan. Getting to the pitch of it, hitting with the spin. And again, a lot of power despite the fact that uh, still nursing that uh, injury of ease. It just bludgeoned it away. Just hitting the meat of the bat. He's gone over the top. He hasn't quite got hold of it, but will get away with it. Things going right for Pathan and the Indians. There have been a number of occasions when something like that has happened. He's pulled that one and it's four. One bounce and out. It's too slow wicket to bowl short like that. Patan is in terrific form. Yes, any top order batsman would have been uh, proud of that shot. Very nicely onto the back foot, in full control, pivoting as soon as he made contact and uh, hitting it away from the field, it kept going away from Chandana. So Patan now seeing the ball like a football and uh, playing some glorious shots. Patan on 83, Tendulkar 91. He's wanting to go over the top and I think he's got to go, he's gone. Just what they needed. The Sri Lankans needed a wicket, Dilshan has provided it. Irfan going once again wanting to go over the top, getting the outside edge of the bat and holding out to short third man. Magnificent innings uh, from uh, Irfan Patan, exactly what uh, the Indian team wanted. He came out there when the score was 41 and uh, Dilshan has finally got him out. Tried to hit again over the top on the offside and uh, offered a simple catch this time. Mahala Jayavodhana making no mistake. So Irfan Patan goes after 70 balls, making 83. 
outside edge and he's gone so Sri Lanka are fighting back this is just what they needed both the set batsmen back in the pavilion Sachin Tendulkar outside edging to Sangakara well it does happen quite often a big partnership you lose a wicket and often another falls so Maruf putting the ball in the right spot and Tendulkar going through with the drive very fine catch by Kumar Sangakara throwing himself to his right and uh, Maruf is delighted of uh, having caught Sachin Tendulkar and the master on his comeback has made 93 of 96 deliveries caught Sangakara ball Maruf 96.90 strike rate and India now 207 for 3 well that is a magnificent hit short ball Dravid withdrew, made a little bit of room and played it with a straight bat. An on drive between Midon and the bowler. That is an exquisite shot. Well, you wouldn't see many more better straight battered shots off the back foot than that. Chipped in the air, just clearing Midon. And enough bat on it to reach the boundary. Went along the ground the first delivery when Mahela Jayawardena made a fantastic effort to stop the ball, but this time taking no chances. Went in the air and cleared the man. Another boundary, boundary number 24 in this innings. And Yuvraj Singh's first. Could be tight. Direct it again. He's called for the third umpire, Billy Barrett. Yes, but just seeing the body language of the Sri Lankans, they believe uh, Yuvraj is in, but he can never say with a direct hit. You can see they're just uh, going back to their positions. Uh, Yuvraj reacted very quickly and is well in. Tall man, uh, big reach. Just one replay required for the third umpire. Shivram, the third umpire. Oh, oh! oh he's given him. Oh, now, Yuvrat Singh not happy at all. It was a half-hearted appeal. I don't think uh, Sankakara really went up. But uh, my first impression uh, is that it might be a pretty ordinary decision. That's why I think it's hit the glove on the way. The ball was spinning. Have a look at Yuvraj Singh here when uh, given out. Uh, he wasn't happy. But uh, Sri Lanka will take it. Singh departs for 14. It's 247 for four. Then Dulkar on your screen played a magnificent innings on his comeback. His ninth time the out in the 90s. 93 of 96. That is brilliantly done. Slightly predetermined, but a leaf out of Tendulkar's book. Wonderfully executed by Dravid. Four runs all the way. This really is class showing from Rahul Dravid. Really no uh, major power as such, but just uh, giving the ball direction and getting it into the gap between uh, the wicketkeeper and that short final leg in the ring. That's well played. And he's been helped there in the deep. That should have been stopped. It's gone for four. So 11 runs from the over. Katapatu, a very concerned man. That's a very heavy bat there. Very thick one as well. It's gone in the air. He's miscued it, but he'll get a couple of runs for it. Rahul Dravid. This also brings on Dravid's 50. 50 of 47 balls. Very well played under the circumstances. Kept the momentum going. That is four. A full toss. Correction. That is six. That has been bludgeoned into the stands. Off the advertising hoardings and back into the ground. What awesome power again. Hammered it away. That was uh, 
really not too high either. Just flat batted away. In the air, will it reach the fielder? It does and it goes over. What a hit by Rahul Dravid. Inside out, fetches him six. 16 from the over. Three to go. India now 310 for four. And he's gone over. That's another big hit, and it's another six. It's raining sixes now. This is Dhoni in his element. He's really keeping this crowd thrilled and entertained. As you can see, they're dancing on the aisles, they're jumping on the seats, and Dhoni really is keeping them alive. This is what Dhoni can do. Absolutely destructive. He's he's vicious with his shots. 9 sixes, 29 fours for India up to now. That's in the air, that should be taken. He's been done in by the slower one, and that is a great take. Jay Vardena keeping his eyes on the ball, running back, and that is a good catch. Dhoni departs. He's got 38 of 27. Mohinder Singh Dhoni, Sri Lankans would be happy. The no doubt would be very happy to see the back of uh, Dhoni. That was a split finger delivery from Dilara Fernando Dhoni, misreading the pace. And uh, Jayawardhan has been feeling so well, picking up that catch, running nicely sideways. Again, the full pitch delivery. Dravid wants two. If it's a direct hit, it can be close. Is this close? How was that? He's asked the question at the North Striker end. Ajit Agarkar, was he caught napping? I'm not quite sure. I got the feeling that he was, in fact, ambling along. But um, as to whether he really uh, did that after he passed the priest, I wasn't quite sure. But just uh, wait and see. He may have just made it. Or is he out? On the contrary, Ranjit, I think he is... He may be out. This is quite unbelievable. He was just ambling across, thinking that he wasn't going to the danger end. And as far as that shows, the bales are off and his bat is on the line. Now the bale is disturbed, his bat is short. I think he may have to go. I think here comes a light. You've got to go, Ajit Agarkar. Only got yourself to blame, taken by surprise, but that was quick thinking by Atapadu, was it? It was Atapadu, so the long walk back for Ajit Agarkar. And there you are, that was the quick thinking from uh, Marvan Atapatu. He realized that Agarkar was uh, just ambling along and uh, hitting the stumps. Uh, the marksmanship was excellent. So Agarkar goes run out for one. India lose their six wicket for 319. Well, a lot has happened there. Two more runs have come off it. Take a look at this one. Again, the slower one in the air by Dravid. Two fielders trying to get it. One hand comes under it. Can't catch on. He's got a hold of that one. There's no fielder there. That'll be four more. Rahul Dravid has got four more. He's on to 81. Plenty of open spaces in that mid-wicket region and that's really where Dravid has been aiming to hit the ball and this time he timed it quite right, waited for the slow one to come through, uh, sort of judged it well in fact and um, hit it to the open space with Upul Chandran having no chance whatsoever in that region. Last ball. And there's going to be four more. Ends with a flourish Rahul Dravid. He's on fire. 18 runs from the last over. 350 coming up as well. So at the end of that 50, those 50 overs, India 350 for six. Rahul Dravid 85 of just 63. What a way to finish this innings. What a fine innings by this captain Rahul Dravid. He certainly held the batting together at the middle stages when um, Tendulkar and uh, Patan had done all the good work and had taken India through to a very, very formidable total of 350 for six.
my teeth are really sensitive. I had to start ordering a straw with my cold drinks. So you're trying to impress a guy and you order a straw and you look like a little girl. <laughs> He recommended I try a toothpaste specifically designed for sensitive teeth. It's just sorted out my problem. It cleans my teeth, it gives me fresh breath. What more do you need? The 14th, 15th and 16th of July are the dates for the massive, amazing Asian Lifestyle Show 2006 at London Olympia. It's back, bigger and better. Asian Lifestyle Show 2006, presented by Sunrise Radio and Sony Entertainment Television Asia. If you're a fashion designer in the health and beauty business, the travel industry, home goods and furnishing, property, catering and much, much more, then you need to exhibit at this show. If you're selling a lifestyle product, don't miss Asian Lifestyle 2006. It's the show that brings you Bollywood stars, live music events and mind-blowing catwalk shows. For a special 20% discount early booking offer for a limited period only on stand bookings. Welcome back to the BCA ground here in Nagpur for the second session of play. And this is the first match of the Videocon Cup Series. India winning the toss, batting first putting up a huge score on the board 350 runs scored and uh, Rahul Dravid who won the toss will be extremely happy with this effort runs uh, all the way down the order 93 for Tendulkar that's uh, great news from India's point of view his first match in uh, a long long time 83 for Pathan the surprise uh, package put up the uh, batting order at number three and then a blistering innings from uh, Rahul Dravid lower down the order 85 from just 63 Good support from Mahindra Singh Dhoni. So the Sri Lankan bowlers were all put to the sword. None of them really uh, was offered any sort of respect by the Indian batsman. Dilshan, of course, was the most successful. He picked up two for 40 in six overs. Uh, Murali, there are no wickets, which was unusual. And Bas picked up one. So Patan on his way. He's got one slip in place. Yes, there's just one way that the Sri Lankans could go, just attacking the bowling in the first few overs, as they have a lot of ground to cover initially, and um, the Indians very tight on their field. They've got men on the offside, saving the single, three of them all converging on the batsman as soon as um, Jasuria is um, looking to take strike. They know that he wants that single earlier on. Lucky. Inside edge, away to the boundary. But that didn't miss the off stump by much. But from India's point of view, it was a no ball as well. So even if the ball had gone back onto the stumps, it wouldn't have mattered. There you were, just, just looking for that little bit extra. It found Patan straight away, mm. considering the no ball and Jasuria getting that inside mm. edge. But the Sri Lankans will take all these runs. It wouldn't matter as to how they come. Big shout here, a very confident appeal, he was looking to heave it on the onside. Oh, did he get some bat on it? That's the question to be asked. There's a swinging delivery going in the direction of the stumps, it's pitched on line. Oh, if he's not got bat on that, that would have crashed into middle and leg. That's four, just drifting onto leg stump, fine legs up. And Surya using the pace. We really have to be precise when bowling uh, with that uh, fine leg up because anything which is marginally on middle and leg can go for runs. And Surya using his experience, just nudging it wide of the man at short fine leg. So Patan continuing. Bowling right through his defence. That's a cracking delivery from the left armour. Swing back into the right hander. Finds the gate between bat and pad. And uh, the sound of timber as far as Atapadu goes. Absolutely brilliant delivery from uh, Patan. We all know that Mavan Atapadu has been finding the ball coming into him. Something which is found difficult to cope with. And this delivery pitched up. Atapadu no long stride forward. Paying the penalty, the ball going through the gate and hitting timber. As we would say, uh, Mavan Atapadu, his uh, long string of low scores in the one day game continues. He's out for one. Sri Lanka 10 for one. Ooh, 
direct hit and that was trouble. Harbhajan Singh knows it. Good piece of fielding. There's no question that the Indians are pumped up. What good fielding here you are. You know that um, this uh, round is conducive to diving around, but Sangakkara, he was taking off for the single. Harbhajan Singh, he was quickly off and uh, the throw just going wide. 14 for 1. Sanat Jaisuri on strike. Uh, Srishant will continue. In the air, just over cover. Harbhajan Singh might have just got his fingertips to it. Well, that was hit hard. No half measures there from Sanat Jaisuri. Getting up and under this one. You really can't allow him to free his arms. It's just a narrow one, but still, um, he's got enough bat on that to get it over the man at uh, the extra cover region. That's well played. Sangakara wants to, he has to hurry. Once again, a direct hit was what was required. Yes, the Sri Lankans would take up any challenge from the outfield because every run matters. Sangakkara just campering home to manage uh, scraping in. That's a terrific hit. No problems with that whatsoever. Excellent use of the feet and he delayed it till Patan was just about to deliver the ball. A tremendous frigating shot down the track as if uh, Patan was a spinner. Uh, superb timing again. Big chase here for Agarkar but the ball again wins. This is such a quick outfield. Sri Lanka now getting the momentum going. Yes, they are in fact maintaining a very big good run rate in line with what is required. But uh, this is still early days. Just wide of the man at point and uh, just look at the ball just racing through. It was just uh, dabbed away but uh, not much power. Taken the aerial route and he's cleared the man. That deep square leg just for a moment. The fielder thought he had the ball coming straight at him, but it's cleared him by a distance. Flicked at it, but flicked at it really hard. He made sure he got maximum power to hit the ball out of the ground. And another glorious shot from Kumar Sangakkara. He's gone. It's worked. The bowling change has worked. Harbhajan Singh has struck for India. And he's picked up the important wicket. The all-important wicket of Sanat Jayasurya. A soft dismissal. Sanat Jayasurya just pushing at it. Using some bottom hand. A little too much of it. And the Indians are delighted. He's appealed for a stumping and Billy Bowden, as always, refers it to Shivaram, the third umpire. What does Dhoni think? He was the closest. Shandana trying to drive that, dragged his foot. There he is. Did he get the spells off quickly enough? That's going to be a close call. Shandana slipped his foot back. Did he get it back enough? What's it going to be? Green it is and the right one. 11 hours gone, it's 76 for two. Catch. And he's gone. Virendra Sevak joins the party. Very tame dismissal from Kumara Sangakkara. Sangakkara was looking ominous, but flattered to deceive. <laughs> well, well, well. If. Uh Jayasuriya's dismissal was a soft one, what could you call that? A short one, 
didn't bounce very much came slowly to Sangakkara and here he says catch me and gives it back to Sehwag so Kumar Sangakkara must be a, a very disappointed man 43 very well made runs in 37 deliveries and he goes back court and ball Sehwag and Sri Lanka now 76 for 3 3 in the ring on the offside saving single miscue but he'll still get a boundary the intention was good trying the inside out over extra cover Chawadana likes to uh, play the left arm spinner inside out well he was lucky on that occasion and another one Harbhajan Singh it is in his third over picks up his second wicket He's turned it around for India. The off spinner having a wonderful time. And what a big wicket it is. Chandana was sent up the order to accelerate the run scoring. And he's fallen again. Good stumping by Dhoni. Not very easy when the ball turns and comes between the bat and pad. Nizli on a roll, Harbhajan Singh. Chandana dismissed for three. Sri Lanka 88 for 4. Oh, what a clean up job. What a clean up job here by Arbhajan. Russell Arnold was two minutes too late in coming down on the ball. Fantastic arm delivery from uh, the Turbinator. Oh, absolutely. Round the wicket to the left handers, he's become even more dangerous, Arbhajan Singh. Take a look at this angle into him, yeah. keeping straight. Oh, he should have been on the front foot, uh, Mr. Arnold. It's gone. Harbhajan Singh is on a roll. So are the Indians. Because the two deep fielders permitted. We are in the second power play. He's gone for it and he is connected handsomely. That is high. That is six. I think it hit the screen and came back. Well, nice way to bring up the 100. A short fit footwork here from uh, Dilshan. He's down the track in a in a flash. In fact, uh, went down the track so quickly. Hit it nice and straight. He's bowled it. He was getting too cute there, Jay Vardina. Trying to play the reverse sweep, but the ball was turning away from him. He's gone. Uh, it was always on the cards. Uh, Mudli Karthik just had to be patient. Just altered his line here, going over the wicket. Mentioned earlier, he's bowling really well today in this spell. They didn't even get a bat to it. And he's bowled him. Murli Karthik is bowled yet another beauty. Dancing in the eye. It's his spinner's delight, curving into the right-hander. Knocking back top of off stump. Dilshan had a life in the last over. Stumping chance missed, but uh, here, what a good delivery. He thought he had covered the line, ball pitching around midland leg, spinning across him, hitting the off stump. Another fine delivery from uh, Morley Karthik. Oh, that could be tight. Not of the head from Hari Harin, but he's still gone for the third umpire. And I just get the feeling he might be out. Yet again, the ball pitch right on the correct spot, making Maruf stretch right forward, losing his balance as he played. And uh, that looks certainly as if he couldn't get his foot back. His foot was in the air and Maruf, in fact, feels uh, he's out. Yes, he's gone. The great delivery again, Murli Karthik. He's picked up yet another wicket. Maruf, the man dismissed. That's a biggie. Double bounces into the fence. The man at long on was brought in to encourage Loka Hittige to play the big shot, and he does exactly that. Didn't really get hold of it, but good enough to get him a boundary and take Sri Lanka to 150. 152 for eight in the 30th over. And again, this time it's longer. Maximum.
Gets Billy Bowden exercising. So uh, six coming after a while. The fourth six of the innings. This time uh, Delara look at the really got hold of it. He's right up to the pitch, gave himself enough room to swing his bat. And that cleared the boundary. That's in the air. There is a fielder there, but it's gone over him. That is a huge hit. That six also brings up the 50 partnership. 51 of 53 balls. It's really he's looking hit again his element. He certainly could uh, open his shoulders when he wants to. Very strong young man. And uh, two very good strikes by him. It's the start of a long series. Seven one dares. And I'm sure both teams would have liked to have a good day today. He's cleaned him up. That is well bowled. Uh, Srishant is first international wicket. An in swinging Yorker. He would be joyous more than that. He'd be relieved at his first wicket. This really is a momentous occasion for this young man. He certainly has been striving for this one wicket and uh, this time got it in the slot in the right area and uh, comprehensively bowled uh, Dilhara Loku Hetige. So, very, very big moment for this man and uh, he must be well pleased. I think he'll remember this for a long, long time. That's in the air and that's taken. Srishant has another two wickets for Srishant. Murli is gone, gone for six. Vast is not out, 37. And Sri Lanka are all out, 198. A comprehensive victory for the Indian side. Yes, Srishant always fancied his chances of picking up Murli Dharan's wicket. It was really a question of when. And uh, Murli Dharan launched into that shot, that uh, well pitched up delivery to find uh, Murli Karthik in the way. So handshakes all around and a very, very happy Indian side. A very professional effort by that. Young Sri Shant uh, picking up two wickets in the process. Rahul Dravid, he certainly led from the front with that fine inning. Sendhul Kar's contribution as well. And here you are. This was uh, the last wicket enabling India uh, into winning this game. Straight to Murli Karthik who picks up that catch overhead. So this has got to be one of the better days that Indian cricket has seen in a long, long time. India win by 152 runs. So that's the Sri Lankan card. Sangakkara, Jayasuriya, the early successors, but once they went, uh, it was a bit of a procession as uh, finally there was uh, Vas, Dilhara, Lokohetigian. So that's how the match turned out. India won the toss, an important one at that. In their 50 overs, they scored 350 for six. Tendulkar, 93 in his comeback trail. Magnificent innings, that one in 96 deliveries. Dravid, 85 of just 63. Now, he picked up the pieces after that partnership between Pathan and Tendulkar came to an abrupt end. And he played uh, really, really well. Pathan, 83. That was the experiment that succeeded. And I suspect that it's going to carry on for a while. Sri Lanka, in reply, needed to score 351. For all out 198, thanks to the combined resources of Harbhajan, Karthik and Srishan. 3 for 35 Harbhajan, 3 for 48 Karthik. The spinners had a field day today. The wicket and conditions did favour them. Srishan getting two on debut. So the first match out of the way. India win by 152 runs. Six more to go. Mohali, Jaipur, Pune, Ahmedabad, Rajkot and Baroda. So with the news that India have won by 152 runs.